What's up everybody, it's Steve the Hurricane here and for today's episode of A Drink with the Hurricane, we're gonna talk about one of the many ways we can market to get more caregivers. So raise your glass and let's toast to your success. Cheers. This is A Drink with the Hurricane, the talk show discussing all things growing your home care business. This video is sponsored by Home Care Evolution, where we help home care agencies adapt to changing circumstances, transform their business so that they can thrive for years to come. All right, everybody, so check this out here. I'm, I'm, I'm holding up a plaque in my hand of an award that I received way back in 2009 as the employer of choice from Lincoln Tech. And Lincoln Tech is in uh, a school in my area where I used to market for caregivers by establishing a relationship with all of the people at that particular school. This is exactly what we need to be doing more of. If you're a client of mine, I specifically have the Momentum class, Lesson 2, where I talk about all things recruiting, and I call that lesson Recruit Like the Military, and I literally go through seven different ways to recruit to get caregivers. This is one of those seven, and that is developing a relationship with your schools. Now, at the school, you have to think about it from the school's perspective. The school, believe it or not, they receive funding from the government. They continue to market to get new students. Students don't just go to their school because they want to go to school. They market to go to the school. They market to find students who are looking for school. That's how these schools grow. Part of how they market, part of how they get grants and government assistance to be able to take care of students and train them and prepare them to go into the workforce is through their outcomes. What do I mean by outcomes? I mean when they have a student that graduates, that graduate is able to therefore go and get a job. The higher the employment rate of their graduates, the more money they're going to get and the better marketing they're going to be able to do to get more students to come to their school. So these schools actually have a vested interest in partnering up with employers like yourself. So what you have to do is go to the school. Contact several departments. The first department would be financial aid because anybody in financial aid is somebody who probably needs a job to be able to help afford school in the first place. If you're at a nursing school like Lincoln Tech, you know that those students are going to eventually become nurses and many of them are already CNAs or home health aides and they could go get a job working for you right now. The second department that you want to establish a relationship with at the school is the career development or the career counselors or the career placement department. It's basically the career development department, right? These individuals are literally assigned and tasked helping the students find jobs while they're in school and post-graduation. As wild as this sounds, I will never forget it for as long as I live. When I was working with Lincoln Tech 2009, I signed on and, and had about 24 of those caregivers who were at that school come to work for me. That's how I became the employer of choice for the year at that school. In addition to that, this is also when I learned that there's a large portion of folks who go through Lincoln Tech and other schools accelerated nursing program where in 18 months someone can come out and be an LPN or an LVN depending on what state you're located in and then you can practice medicine. There's a certain percentage of students that go through the entire school, graduate but never go on to take their competency exam because they're either afraid, they're anxiety ridden, they're nervous, or they just don't believe in themselves. Either way, regardless as to whatever it is, the school still has an obligation to get those folks employed. 
and you become the perfect employer because those are students who graduated who are looking for work can't practice medicine because they haven't taken the exam and they can work for you in the in the meantime they work for you for six weeks they work for you for six months they might even work for you for several years schools are a great place to get caregivers we need to develop a relationship there with consistent marketing effort so my friends that's the tip for the week if you want help getting more caregivers if you want help scaling and growing your business you need to go to my website homecareevolution.com right now and register for the next home care evolution boot camp where you know i'm going to give you everything you need to blow away the competition